beautiful people. How are ya? I haven't talked to you since 2016. Did you miss me? <laughs> I missed you, of course. Anyways, um, you know, it's going to be a little bumpy dumpy here because I don't know about our city, but they didn't really scrape the roads as they probably could have. And so it's like driving in a you know those commercials where they show like jeeps driving in like bumpy mountainous terrain that's kind of like what it is yeah even on the main roads it's not the funnest thing but anyway how is everybody doing i hope you had a fabulous christmas happy new year all that kind of fun stuff i don't know about you but i have finally set my word of intention for 2017 and i'm excited by it I am not going to tell you what it is because there's a post for that <laughs> on the blog. Um, but every year uh, for the past three years, I guess, I have chosen a word that is like the theme for my year. So I believe last year was elevate, the year before was focus. And this year I chose something that's really going to be spectacular. Yeah. Yes. Spectacular like my hair today. <laughs> I know I seriously can't stop talking about my hair guys because it's just such a transformation and it's been so amazing to watch how my natural hair which I very much took for granted when I was younger just to see how it grows and how it reacts to things and oh it's been so fun so just to segue as they say so my hair is really soft today I did a braid out again and I this time I did something totally different. I didn't use any uh, defining butter because that's usually what I do to get that definition. I didn't use any this time. This time I just used Mellow Hair Retention Butter and some TGIN leave-in conditioner. That was it and I just braided it just like, oh, actually no, I didn't. I um, put in some oil as well and I did a cool air blow dry just to remove as much moisture as I can and then I used my Denman brush to brush it out, get out some of those tangles, but I detangled in the shower using the Aussie Mega Moist uh, conditioner, which has been amazing. And so when I got out, it was so easy to do my hair. I did that little bit of blow dry just to get some of the moisture out. Then I just braided or plaited my hair like normal, like my mom used to when I was little. And this is what it looks like. So I can tell with my hair that I have different lengths in the back, so that kind of bugs me a little bit because the front, you can tell, is just really long and has some sort of shape to it, but the back kind of just has this weird thing going on. So whatever, I'll deal with that eventually. So I just had to share that because I'm loving my mane, man. I'm loving it. And as you know, I'm loving my Save On Foods. I keep telling people about this online shopping and I, I don't know. I. I'm telling you right now that if Save On Foods had a jump in online shopping in the last two weeks, most of that's because of me. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. I, I can't speak highly enough about that service, especially when the average temperature lately has been around minus 25, minus 26, whatever. It's been cold. So having to or having the ability to just order online, have my groceries show up perfectly picked exactly how I want them because I told them what to do it's it's it works wonders now I gotta tell you I do miss going in the stores because of the fact that you know you see things you don't get to see and the biggest thing for me with save on foods is that the local products I don't get to order anything local because they're not in the system yet so once those get added into the system, oh boy, I'm probably never leaving my house. But from everyone that's tried it so far, positive reviews. And I mean, you gotta take with a grain of salt um, because it's they're new to Winnipeg and they've done a pretty fabulous job considering um, probably the increase volume from people wanting to do online shopping when it's this cold. And I really enjoyed the comments from people on my blog who talked about the fact that you know they live on the second floor of an, an apartment or they have mobility issues and 
or they're you know what they want to order groceries for their elderly parent or someone that is you know has been sick for a few few weeks or months and can't get out like I love those kind of stories because that's the whole point point. and if I didn't share my online shopping experience maybe a lot of those people wouldn't have known that it even existed so regardless of what my reasons are for using it I'm so glad that by me sharing that information other people are now aware of it and they're using the service as well so that's all you can ask for right right so 2017 2017 first of all I'm gonna do my very best to stop using the word so because <laughs> I do it all the time and the word awesome I I can't help it guys I I just can't help it I but I'm gonna get better I'm gonna get better that's my goal for 2017 to reduce the use of those words okay okay all right. <laughs> did you see what I did there? I said all right instead of so because I really wanted to say so. Um, today was a bit of a uh, transformation milestone day for my son. So we've gone from one Montessori school to another in the same area. And uh, just due to a perfect storm of unfortunate circumstances, we had to leave the Making Roots Montessori. And now our son is going to Paradise Montessori. And my son was such a trooper this morning. I'm so proud of him. He could have, you know, freaked out, balled his face off. And I know he's still anxious about it and, and not sure what to think. But everyone was so welcoming. And I'm very curious to see how his day will go today. So, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do for your kids, right? And if that means changing schools, they change schools. And this is the last place he will be before he heads into kindergarten. So I'm very much looking forward to him graduating from there and learning all he can learn in the next uh, nine months. Yeah. What else is going on, guys? Oh, you know, a wedding. A wedding. I can't believe we are three weeks away from leaving to Jamaica to get married. I, I just, yeah. I'm still kind of in shock that it's really happening and so close. And I'm still freaking out because there's still so much to do. <laughs> I know it's destination wedding, but there's a lot of stuff you have to get done beforehand, especially if you're actually having your legal ceremony there. You have to have your documents notarized and sent to them by courier. You have to have um, your witnesses or your uh, bride, you know, maid of honor and your best man you have to have their IDs sent over you have to there's so much to do and so many little extras and things you don't really think about um, when you're when you're doing this because of course there is a wedding coordinator there but they're way the heck you know five hours by plane away so I'm hoping and praying that everything will go well and as planned I'm you know I'm hopefully not jinxing it by saying that I pray that there will be no rain that day but if there is whatever we'll work with it you know this is just life you know we can't predict these things so I'm excited I'm very excited I'm happy and um, but I'll, I'll be glad when we're just there and we're enjoying the moment because right now it's just a little bit of stress a little bit of stress in addition to this crazy wonderful or maybe not so wonderful sometimes day job that I have that has just been it's been wild and just very draining very draining so to those folks that are doing things for themselves and entrepreneurial I feel ya and I know there's challenges within that but at least you're doing something you're passionate about and that you love and I mean I do love HR I do I have it's been my career for almost 20 years but Sometimes it's just time to do something different, right? It's time to do something else that you have more passion for because I want to have my days be happier days or, you know, have my decisions be my decisions, not 17 other people or having to report to other people. Like, I'm just, I don't know, ever since I hit 40, guys, that, that thought process is like, no, nope, I need to just work for myself. That's what I need to do. So I'm on that road, slow but sure, but I'm on it. Yeah. So what's happening? Um, the Winnipeg Home and Renovation Home and Renovation Show. I don't remember what it's exactly called, but they are having something pretty fun um, at the 
the show which is coming this weekend January 13th 14th in there 15th and they asked a few influencers and people in Winnipeg who are you know in the community or visible to decorate some mailboxes and I decorated a mailbox and it will be um, on site at the Winnipeg Home and Renovation Show for you to view and to bid on because those proceeds will go to Siloam Mission, of course. So I'm, and I never know if I'm saying that right, Siloam Mission or Siloam Mission. Whichever one it is, you guys know which one I'm talking about. That's the charity that, uh, that will receive the benefits of those mailbox donations. I'm excited. Can't wait to see it. What else? Oh my goodness. Um, so Winnipeg Blogmasters, my uh, Winnipeg Blogging Masterminds meetup group. So there's been quite a few of us since last year when we started in the spring. Myself and LaDonna, she is the co-founder with me and she blogs at DiningWithPurpose.com. She just started a brand new blog. She used to be doing some other blogs before but I'll uh, just let you know that she has a new blog now. <laughs> She's a new, the newest food blogger in Winnipeg. And so we've, we created this, we met at a blogging conference last year and we created this group to really connect with other bloggers in Winnipeg and discuss kind of successes and share expertise because a lot of people want to increase their blog views or they just want to hear from other people and what the challenges are things like that so we set up this group and it's the same kind of core group of people that show up every time we have a meeting which is bi-weekly and it's been awesome I just love what comes out of it I love the new people I've met because of it and I'm really proud of what we're doing and what we hope to do in the future with this group so stay tuned for that and I mean you know it's it's really one of those things where oh it's for just for bloggers yeah it is but for anyone who's in social media and those types of things we we, we talk about a lot of stuff and a lot of different resources and things you can do and maybe there's someone sitting out there right now who's been thinking about something and needs to talk it out with someone to see if it's it's a good plan for them and that's what we do so make sure you check out WPG blog masters that's our handle and you can also go to meetup and find our information there, Winnipeg Blogging Masterminds, okay? As you can see, I'm heading into work. So I gotta say my goodbyes, but I will be back next week with much more and a little more detail about some awesome stuff happening in 2017, not only in Winnipeg, but for myself, etc. And of course, in the meantime, stay tuned on the blog for good stuff, good giveaways, some good articles that I've had sitting in my drafts for a long time that really are you know have nothing to do with ads and sponsors and all that kind of stuff it's just some good content about life and who I am and what I do and what I plan to do in the future and I love sharing those stories because I always hear from the from you guys um, how it connects to you and how it relates to you and I then I get to hear your stories as well and that was the whole point and purpose of my blog in the first place so stay tuned for that folks I hope you all have a fabulous week and please 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 holla at me anytime message me tweet me facebook messenger me i don't care whatever i'm easily found and i would love to chat with you and of course if i see you in a store or somewhere please please say hello please say hello i'm not i'm not a scary girl i promise <laughs> okay anywho i gotta get out of here i gotta go to work I hope you all have a fabulous week. Be good to each other and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.